we are in this video we are going to see a problem in which we have to calculate the diameter of a link stock and for that here we have a question a coil chain of a crane is required to carry a maximum load of 50 kN as shown in figure the diagram is given in this diagram we have a chain which is this oval section here and it is interconnected with the remaining oval links now we have to find the diameter of the link stock that is how much is the diameter of this chain cross section that we have to find out if the permissible tensile stress in the link material is not to exceed 75 megapascal so since this is subjected to tensile load this chain we have to find out that how much is the diameter considering the tensile stress. So whatever is given here, I will write that in the form of data first. Now, a coil chain of a crane is required to carry maximum load of 50 kN. Load is given. So P is equal to 50 kN. So it is 50 into 10 raised to 3 Newton as shown in figure. Find the diameter of the link stock. We have to calculate the diameter of this link stock. If the permissible tensile stress in the link material is not to exceed 75 megapascal. Permissible tensile stress is sigma t and that is equal to 75 megapascal and megapascal is directly converted into newton per mm square because one megapascal is one newton per mm square now here since we have to find the diameter stress and load they have been given so let us start this problem by using the formula of stress solution since tensile stress acting on the link stock is given by tensile stress is sigma t that is equal to load upon area now since tensile stress is load upon area so therefore sigma t is equal to p upon area is pi by 4 d square next year P is given in the problem as 50 kN, so it is 50 into 10 raised to 3 Newton upon pi by 4 that is 0 0.785 d square and here I have tensile stress which is 75 Newton per mm square so this is equal to 50 into 10 raised to 3 upon 0 0.785 d square so therefore d square I'll shift it onto one side. Here I have 50 into 10 raised to 3 upon 0 0.785. 75 will go into the denominator. And from this here first I'll get the value of d square that comes out to be 850. And since we want d so I will take the square root of this. And then the diameter it comes out to be. 29.13 mm. So here, if we have a link stock, then it should have a diameter of 29.13 mm. This is the cross section of the link stock. 
it should have diameter d is equal to 29.13 mm so this is cross section of link stock and here if we look into the problem the question was when the load is applied of 50 kilo newton and that load is tensile then how much should be the diameter of this stock and the diameter we have calculated it is 29.13 mm and with this we complete the question